The revival of Roseanne Barr's show Roseanne was deemed a huge reboot rating success. More than 25 million Americans watched the first episode, and television broadcasters were suddenly excited. In this day and age of Netflix, Hulu, and video streaming, maybe, just maybe, people could be enticed to watch broadcast television again. The networks planned other show revivals, but Roseanne Barr's newfound success was fleeting. Her tongue got her in trouble. This time, it wasn't for her ear-shattering, screeching rendition of the national anthem. Remember that one? Back in the 1990s, when Barr's original program was a number one hit, there was no Twitter. If someone made racist or controversial comments, it was generally in the privacy of their own home or in conversations among friends or relatives. No more. Everything we say in 2018 on Twitter or other social media is like advertising our views on a billboard. If you're Donald Trump or Roseanne Barr, your tweets are viewed by millions of people around the world. So when Roseanne Barr said former Obama administration official Valerie Jarrett was the baby of Muslim Brotherhood and Planet of the Apes parents, ABC's president of entertainment, Channing Dungy, said she'd had enough with that. Dungy fired Barr and canceled her show, saying Roseanne's Twitter statement is abhorrent, repugnant, and inconsistent with our values. I'm sure Barr regrets that tweet. She later apologized to Jarrett, those who work on her show and to the American people. Her ambient-induced 2 a.m. tirade will cost her and the cast of the new Roseanne show millions of dollars. And it taints her reputation, not only in Hollywood, but around the world. We're told in the book of Matthew, chapter 12, verse 34, that the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. And in the book of James, we're told in chapter 3, verse 6, that the tongue is like a fire. It corrupts the whole body, sets the whole course of one's life on fire. And in verse 8, no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil full of deadly poison. Roseanne, you've made millions of us laugh, but that tweet was no laughing matter. It was pure poison. And whether it's Roseanne's tweet, those of other celebrities, or those that come from our own mouths, let's be careful what we say and follow the wisdom of Solomon stated in Proverbs verse 8, making sure that all the words from our mouths are just and none of them crooked or perverse. Well, that's it from The Global Lane. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, iTunes, SoundCloud, YouTube, and Twitter. And until next time, be blessed.